damage is impossible during battle. I'm a stealth ship, not a combat pod. Shall I deploy our is finally going into space. Never have I seen a more futile attempt at creating a secondary game into an already popular game. I'm pretty sure that Wormius, which was announced at the same event as Arkring back in 2014, has proven to be even more successful when it comes to giving me something to enjoy. Three years after launch, the biggest change in Warframe gameplay, is still the biggest pile of garbage in the entire game. I was never too motivated to make a video on Arkwing, even though I dread every single bit of it, because over the years it's been complained about, and complained about, and complained about, so much to the extent it would warrant a special eye dread on its own. However, where a lot of people are talking about Arkwing, little is actually being said, and with the upcoming changes with Planes of Arnlon, now is the time if any, to find out exactly why going into actual space sucks in this game for Space Ninjas. If you don't know what Arkwing is, good, a phone with any means necessary, even if that includes asking your grandparents to play the Arkwing quest for you. But since Arkwing has become pretty much unavoidable as it's part of important quests like the Second Dream, the War Within, and most importantly, the Jordas precept, chances are that you've already seen it. The idea of Arkwing is honestly not a bad one, given that you have a game advertised for space ninjas, which takes you everywhere but actual space, Presenting the player with some wings that can make them fly and attack spaceships actually made a lot of sense at the time. Before then, the only way you knew you were in space was because if you smashed the windows, you couldn't breathe. So it was not weird for people to go absolutely insane about it. I was pretty hyped up myself too when I spawned into my Arkwing for the very first time. But oh boy, was I in for a disappointment. Oh Mr. TNL, why is it empty here? Are you perhaps playing solo mode? No. Why would you even think I'd do something as stupid as playing solo in a freaking co-op game? Get out, you lazy ass! But if you are wondering, Arkwing has so little going for it that there is no reason to play it aside from when it's part of a quest or an alert. This means that aside from the odd one out player that likes shitty content, you will hardly find anyone playing a random Arkwing mission. This is because Arkwing in and of itself offers nothing. It's a nothing game mode. Anything and any way you play in the game prefers you with specific reasons as to why you should play it. Like so, playing a Void will offer you Argon Crystals that are required to build several different blueprints. Playing a Defense or Survival mission will present you with greater rewards over time, and my personal favorite Mercury allows you to fuck with new players by equipping Mirage or Parasitic Eximus. Arkwing on the other hand holds no purpose at all. The fact that there are no name-worthy Affinity, Credit or Endo farms makes it completely unappealing to the general player base. And where in the past you could only attain the parts for your Arkwing and Arkwing weapons by actually playing Arkwing, now they can be easily found in both your clan dojo and the syndicates. Now given that there's nothing to make Arkwing interesting, the only thing which could redeem itself is the actual gameplay. Whether you prefer the whatever degrees of freedom or the old gameplay, I don't care. The biggest problem with it is that there's not a single piece of Arkwing equipment that has any form of character. Oh really? Is that the best you can come up with? Character is not even a real thing. Oh yeah? Well, go ahead and name me the best arc gun in the game, or arc melee. And what gear would you take in the Arkwing Mobile Defense? It's all so fappin' and boring that all the guns, melee and even the Arkwings themselves feel the exact same. I know that there are some differences in powers between the Arkwings, but if that's the only thing you have to go by to make out which Arkwing is which, how boring is that? Like when was the last time you mixed up Ember and Frost? You never do that with regular Warframes, do you? Now speaking of mission types, the biggest flaw with Arkwing is not in its purpose or equipment. At the end of the day, I can still have fun playing in this simulacrum with shit gear. However, Arkwing itself is not a game mode. As much as you may argue that it is, because it's Warframe in space, it is not. Because what it is, is just Warframe in space. If anyone had begun developing Arkwing as a separate game mode, we would have a very fun and probably inspiring thing to play with right now. We would have a lot of people playing Arkwing, and it would be more time invested into making better Arkwing gear, more Arkwing farms, and ultimately more purposes to be playing Arkwing. Unfortunately, the meeting before Arkwing's development went something like this. Hey dude, I got this cool idea that I call Arkwing. Well, um, uh, what is it? Well, it is Warframe, but then in space. Hmm, okay, well, how does it work? Well. Etc. 
exactly like Warframe, but then in space. Now, don't you think we have to, like, change anything? Like, you know, space is a multidimensional thing and stuff? It may be a little bit different from what we've done up to now. No, 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 it's just Warframe in space. Because of this, we're stuck with monstrosities like Interception, Mobile Defense, and the stupid pickup system that doesn't pick up anything at all. Warframe works great, but making something like Warframe and expecting the Warframe audience to enjoy it is just pointless. Making Arkwing like Warframe will never make it as good as Warframe itself, meaning there will always be a better option available. So when missions, levels, and even the enemies are the sign of regular Warframe gameplay, Arkwing has no chance at all to even hope to become anything. Arkwing is just the most pointless, boring, and rightfully unloved thing in the history of Warframe. When the only point of Arkwing is to level up your Arkwing, there is just no point. It's not working, or in simple words, not a great plan. From the lazy job in enemy design to the completely dull and meaningless cluster of equipment to the flatter uninspiring tile sets, it seems as though there's just no one with the motivation or will to make Arkwing likable. And that's what I dread the most. Arkwing has so much potential. Who would have thought that flying through space, literally flying through space as a space ninja, would be the most boring part of a space game? I mean, come on. Well, those are my thoughts on Arkwing, but what do you think? When was the last time you played Arkwing yourself? For me, I can't really remember besides recording this video. Probably was some Arkwing alert that I probably clicked away. But, you know, if you want to make me suffer, why don't you go ahead and check out my Twitch, where I'll be streaming Warframe regularly on all consoles. Come in and make me play an Arkwing mission. Or actually, please don't do that. <laughs>